So when I come into this place, it's not about what all I can get. It's about what I can give back because he's already given to me this week. And um, people say, you trying to get us to shout? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. You trying to get us to, to worship and jump? Yeah, yeah, I am. I really am. Because it's biblical. It's spoken in scripture. It does not say everything that feels good, everything that feels like it, everything that wants to. It says everything that hath breath. Praise ye the Lord. And it tells us how to praise him. Is that right? Clapping hands is biblical. Dancing is biblical. Lifting your voice and shouting loud is in the book. Pentecostal worship is in the book. Oh, God, help us as Americans to be passionate when we come to the house of God. And worship him with everything within us. And give back to him for things he's already given us. I want Brother Alviar to obey the Lord today. Whatever he wants to do. Whatever he wants to do. They flew in from Brazil um, just a few days ago. Came straight to the conference in Tulsa. And they've had um, several setbacks. And um, I'll let him tell you whatever he wants to tell you. They were robbed a few weeks ago took their car, money, all their cards, everything. It's been a process of him even getting back to America this time. And uh, even getting here today uh, was a process. We had to send somebody to help him. Um, and um, uh, Sister Alviar is with us and, and her two precious children. And, and, and it's work for them to travel like this in this heat. They've already preached this morning at a church, another church. And um, you know what? I'm not going to sit and watch him today. I'm going to help him. Whatever he, want, whatever he feels the Holy Ghost wants to do, I'm not going to make him carry this service by himself. Is that right? Amen. Uh, he preached peak also this week, and we got to spend a little time together. Brother Alviar, I love you. You're one of my dearest friends. You, you have one of the greatest spirits, and you're one of the greatest Christians. Push preaching aside, ministry aside, you're one of the greatest Christians I've ever met. And uh, I love you dearly, and we want you to obey the Lord. And it's good to have you back at Lighthouse in Jackson, Tennessee. Let's worship the Lord one more time with a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If this hand clapping was for me, it was okay. But if it's for Jesus, we need to do a little bit better. Can we do that? Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, would you clap your hands? And while you're clapping your hands, can you lift your voices to the King of kings and Lord of lords? Let's praise him. Let's magnify his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. I mean, it's glad to be in the house of the Lord today. Amen. You may be seated in Jesus' name. Praise God. I feel the presence of God in this place. I don't know about you. At least 10 of us feel the presence of God. When I walked in the back door, I feel the Holy Ghost. I told Sister Lance, I said, the devil's mad, but we're going to get madder than the devil today. God is in the house today. It doesn't matter whatever you're going through, whatever it is your situation, there is a Jesus in this place today that wants to break the shackles and the chains from hell and wants to give you victory. Do you believe that? Shout hallelujah as loud as you can shout to the king. It's always an honor and a privilege to be here at Light House Church with my, I always say, Brother Lance is one of my best friends, amen. He's been one of my best friends. We're growing up together and been to Brazil, preached for us many times, blessed our church. And uh, Brother and Sister Lance and Brother and Sister Alamar, and I just think they're uh, one of my parents also. They treat me so nice when 
they used to live in California and got to spend some time with them. Happy to have my wife and my children, uh, Julia and little Nathan. And uh, it's good to be here today. And before we leave this place, God is going to work miracles in this building. I said, before we leave this place, God is going to work miracles in this building. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And uh, if you open your Bibles, a very, very known scripture. But I was praying uh, in the middle of the night. And the Lord spoke to me to read this scripture today. I know this is a scripture that even our Sunday school children knows. Acts chapter 2 and verse number 38. In fact, at our church in Brazil, I have all our, our, our people to know this scripture by heart. Amen. If you are one God, apostolic, tongue-talking, Holy Ghost-filled person, you ought to know Acts 2.38. Amen. 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 Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall, everybody say, shall, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Verse 39 says, For the promise, everybody say, The promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Portuguese says, E disse-lhes Pedro, arrependei-vos e cada um de vós seja batizado em nome de Jesus Cristo para perdão de vossos pecados e recebereis o dom do Espírito Santo porque a promessa é para vós, para vossos filhos e para todos os que estão longe a quanto nosso Senhor chamar. Would you put your hands to, uh, hallelujah, in the air right now? Uh, I always like and I teach our church to do this. Would you raise, if you can, both hands in the air, making a funnel for the Holy Ghost to come upon you. Let's everybody right now take a, a few minutes to pray as loud as we can pray to Jesus. God. anointing come on prayer warriors let's pray uh, hallelujah like apostolic pentecostal people in the name of jesus in the name of jesus god i'm humbly asking you to anoint my lips of clay speak to your church your children tonight today god God, let your anointing flow in this building. Loose miracles, loose power, loose anointing, God. Bind every spirit from hell in the name of Jesus. And we come against you, devil, in the name of Jesus. And God, we praise you for miracles. We praise you for healing. We praise you for deliverance. Let's clap our hands. And while we're clapping our hands, let's begin to shout. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Come on. Let's shout to the Lord as loud as you can shout. Come on, somebody on this section, shout Jesus. Somebody on this side, shout Jesus. Come on, young people, shout Jesus. In the middle, everybody in the house, can you shout Jesus about three or four times? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. You may be seated in Jesus' name for just a few minutes. I want to talk, whatever you want to call a missionary speech or testimonies or sermon on this title. This uh, title, The Promise is for You. Hallelujah. The Promise is for You. Look to your neighbor and say, the Neighbor, the promise is for you today. Hallelujah. Look to somebody else. Point your finger at somebody else behind you, around you, somebody that you haven't done that before, and said, neighbor, the promise is for you. Amen. A few years ago, uh, a couple from our church in Campinas received the Holy Ghost and baptized them in Jesus' name, and, and uh, they went to our Bible school. God began to use them in a mighty way. And Pastor Milton and Sister Johnny came to me and said, Pastor, we feel like we need to go to the state of Mato Grosso do Sul. We have family there. 
Pastor Milton's family was all from Mato Grosso do Sul. Mato Grosso do Sul is where the Pantanal starts. Pantanal is where the Amazon starts, a very beautiful state. In fact, a week ago yesterday, I was able to preach our state convention in uh, the city of Campo Grande, uh, state of Mato Grosso do Sul, very beautiful state. And uh, for you that don't realize this, but Brazil has many, many Indian tribes. Uh, they said civilization has never walked in on over 100 tribes of Indians in Brazil. And uh, Mato Grosso do Sul has a very, very, very uh, large Indian tribe by the name called Terenos. And uh, this couple went to Campo Grande, started a Jesus name church there. God began to move and God began to fill people with the Holy Ghost. And when Jesus walks in the area, the devil has to lose ground. Amen. There is no room for the devil and Jesus in the same place. Hallelujah. So God began to move and people began to receive the Holy Ghost. And, and uh, it came the day that they were going to have our first uh, state uh, convention in Mato Grosso do Sul had a group of people coming from uh, Louisiana uh, to help us and and uh, I told Pastor Milton we're going to bring a bus uh, of our people and we're just going to have a Holy Ghost time and we did have a Holy Ghost move and Saturday night they rented a, 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 a big school and, and uh, the Holy Ghost was moving and uh, we're just old fashioned Pentecost like this church we believe in running the aisles shouting dancing and uh, uh, jumping and, and having a Holy Ghost time and and I remember as we were having a Holy Ghost time, right in front of the, the, the school, a big bus parked. And, and when they opened the door, Indians began to c come out. And, and a young brother ran to me and said, Missionary, uh, this is a, 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 from an Indian tribe that I met a man at the all open market a few uh, weeks ago. And I was telling him about Jesus' name, baptism. And somehow they receive a tract from an Assembly of God church and Assembly of God in Brazil is very popular, a very, very big church in Brazil. They believe in the Holy Ghost. They believe in holiness just like Pentec uh, uh, well, uh, Assembly of God used to be uh, many years ago in, in, in the States and uh, you can't hardly tell the difference between the Jesus name people and the Assembly of God and, uh, and he said but, but the Assembly of God, the Pentecostals because of devil worshiping uh, the Pentecostals in Brazil don't believe in clapping their hands. They don't show any emotion at all. They, the, the more, the, I mean, they receive the Holy Ghost and they'll sit back down. That, that's it. Because of devil worshiping. Because they're used devil worshiping shout. They dance. They run the aisles in their services. So the Pentecostals don't want to have anything to do with the devil worshiping. So it has took us years to teach our work in Brazil to shout and dance in the spirit like the Bible said. Well, this assembly of God, people was not used to seeing people running the aisles and dancing and rolling in the floor. And so I went to the door and I began to greet all these uh, uh, what called Native uh, uh, Americans or Indians from Brazil. And uh, I began to greet them and some of them didn't look real good because they didn't have, some of them didn't have a lot of clothes. Uh, it, it, they would think what you think Indians are. They painted faces and feathers in their head. Uh, but you know, they, they have a soul. Amen. And so I began to greet, and so, uh, so finally this big guy came, and, and he said, I'm one of the chiefs. And I said, well, welcome to our church. Well, they came in, and people were shouting, dancing. All of a sudden, I was just worshiping God in the middle with all our people. And this chief runs to me, brother, and uh, this Indian chief, he grabbed me by the arm. I said, oh, man, he's, gonna, he's mad, or he's going to get to me or do something right now. And he grabbed me and he said, Pastor, he said, I have never seen a church to dance like y'all do. He said, I have never seen a church to worship like you all do. I said, yes. I said, we, we, we believe like the Bible said. He said, can you do me a favor? I said, yes, sir. He said, in, the, in, in, the, in December, we're going to have a feast. We have every year, we have a tribe feast where many tribes comes together and we do our, our feast and, and our dances. He said, can you bring your church to dance for us? Well, 
Young people, I have had a lot of invitation in our churches. They call our choir to sing or it's sign language choir to sing or man's choir. They, they, and let me tell you, brothers, Lance, brothers and sisters, Lance been to Brazil. They know Brazilians love to sing. They love to, we have all kinds of choirs. We have, I think in our uh, church where we pastor, I think we have six or seven choirs. We have the men's choir, ladies' choir, young people's choir, children's choir, the church choir. Uh, I mean, and then we have the noise choir. Yeah. Lord spoke to me to start a noise choir a few years ago. I, I, I preach in 33 states in America and 13 countries. I've never seen a noise choir in an apostolic church in my life. And one day the Lord just told me, he said, start a noise choir. I got a bunch of hand instruments, uh, tambourines, and I got about 30 people that can't hold a tune. <laughs> and, you know, and they would love to be in a choir, so I just put them in the noise choir. <laughs> and let me tell you, you know, not every service is going to be explosion. You know, it's, we're, I guess you all have some dry services too. We, we sure have some in Brazil. But when we start having those dry services, I get the no noise choir. Mm. We put them in the aisles, and I say, y'all just make some noise, and we're going to start dancing. The Holy Ghost is going to move. Well, some, some people say, well, Brother Alvio, I just don't believe in dancing in the flesh. Well, I do. Sometimes we need to start in the flesh to get in the spirit. Sometimes we need to shout that out out of us so the Holy Ghost can move. Hallelujah. I'm just, I'm just going to obey the Holy Ghost. Is that okay? I'm just going to give some testimonies and then we're going to pray and God's going to heal people tonight. And God's going to fill people with the Holy Ghost. How many believe? Raise your hand and shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, uh, I, he, I said... He, and I didn't know what to say for a moment. And a scripture came to me. Pastor Land says, who wins a soul is wise. I looked at that chief. I said, yes, sir, I'll bring my choir and we'll dance for y'all. I didn't know what I was going to get into. Two months later, I told my church people. We went back home. I said, we're going to pray, Sister Lance. We're going to fast. And we're going to ask God to move. He thinks that it's just a little typical dance, but they don't understand. It's a Holy Ghost dance. Hallelujah. And uh, I said, and we're going to go, and everybody that's going with me, we're, go we're going to dance. I said, we're just not going to stand there and sing. We're going to sing, and we're going to dance. They said, okay, Pastor, okay. So we drove 16 hours. To Campo Grande, we met Pastor Milton. He had a bus full of his people. Then we drove another five hours to the jungles when we got to the, where they were having way in the middle of nowhere. When we got there, there was 4,200 Indians waiting for us to dance for them. Ooh, I'm talking about the promise. Hatalabokoshaya. So... I told the chief, I said, sir, y'all do y'all's dance first because our dance is a little bit different from y'all's dance. Leave our dance last. He said, oh, that's okay, missionary. I said, okay. So for two and a half hours, we watched them, Pastor Lance, tribe after tribe. And it's really witchcraft, to tell you the truth. They dance in circles and burn fire and scream to their gods. And, you know, they were screaming to the sun and to the moon and to the stars. And, and I was just telling my people, I said, now, y'all, we're just going to have to dance. We're going to worship. And I said, when we start saying God is going to move, God's going to move. Well, and when they finished their dance, the, 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 the chief said, now, missionary, before y'all do y'all's dance, they prepare food for y'all. And y'all have got to eat their food because if you don't eat their food, they won't accept y'all. I said, oh, I'm, I'm easy. You know, I've been a missionary all my life and slapping concrete floors. And there, there's one thing I'm afraid of. It's spiders. I hate spiders, but I can stand rats. I've been in places where 
big rats. Ratazanas was just jumping on top of us in the floor. Uh, snakes. And I, I baptized people where there was a river full of crocodiles. And in fact, and Marignon just baptized a lady. And they said, okay, missionary, we're going to the river to baptize. I said, okay. And when I got to the river, I heard something. <laughs> And I said, what is that? They said, oh, that's, we just have some small anacondas and, and alligators here. Ooh, that was the fastest baptism service I've ever made in my whole entire life. I, I had the lady to do all her confession outside, and I said, when you finish, we're just going to jump, and I'm just going to do like this. <laughs> we're going to baptize you in Jesus' name. And uh, I said... Oh, I thought, man, it's going to be easy. I've been to Bahia where all they had to offer us was beans with bugs. Inside it was old beans, and that's all they had. And you, eat like, you ate like you thought you were eating chocolate crunch. I said, oh, it's going to be fine. Okay? So they bring this tea here, this cup out, and uh, they call it terere. It's a, a wood cup, and then it's straw. A very, very strong uh, tea. And then they pour water. Everybody has to sit in a circle. And everybody drinks out of the same straw, same cup. It just goes around. So I said, I'm first. <laughs> but what I didn't know, that that cup had to go around three or four times. So by the fourth time, I was really in the spirit. So we got that done, and I was telling my friends from Louisiana, they were saying, I hate you, Brother LVR. You never bring us again. I said, just make a big smile, and everything's going to be all right. And so then they brought the food, brothers and sisters, young people. When they brought the food, I looked. Now, just hold on, okay? I'll try to be nice. It was caterpillars. Is that how you say it in English? Caterpillars. Roasted caterpillars I looked at that and I said Jesus whoo just let me think it's outback steak uh, uh, just outback Aussie cheese fries so I kind of try to find for the most toasted one so I got it and I ate it in Jesus' name. <laughs> well, the test was final. We ate it. It didn't taste that bad. It didn't taste like, you know, that was a prayer that God didn't answer. It didn't taste like Aussie cheese fries from Outback. But it, it tasted like cashew nut. It was, it, was, it was pretty good. I don't want it again, but it was fine. <laughs> okay, but after, after it was finished... He said, okay, they will accept you now. I said, well, thank you, Jesus. He said, do your dance. We took a little keyboard that some church in the States had given us. It was run by batteries, an old-time keyboard. I mean, just a little, and the sister could only play in the key of C. So I said, give the key, sis. And we all stood there, and we began to sing. Hallelujah. Yeah. 4,200 Indians just standing watching us. And we begin to sing an old song that says, While I was praying, somebody touched me. <laughs> While I was dancing, somebody touched me. While I was praising, somebody touched me. I didn't have to tell my people to start dancing, but the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. <laughs> Begin to fall there. And at first, my people was jumping, and I looked around, and I saw these Indians, and a lot of them was just imitating us, Sister Lance. And some, as we lift our hands in the air, they would lift their hands up in the air. They thought they had to imitate us. And, and uh, as we jumped, some of them would jump. And, and, but all of a sudden, the presence of God came down. Oh, hallelujah, I feel the presence of God here. 
Hallelujah. And all of a sudden, those Indians begin to begin to fall on their knees and, and weeping, feeling a presence of a God they've never felt in their whole life. And now all of a sudden, this man runs to me. He grabbed me by the hand and he said, a missionary, he said, uh, uh, we are used to worshiping our gods. Our gods are they're the sun, the moon, the stars. He said, we have never felt the presence of our God. He said, but what is the difference between your God and our God? He said, we don't see your God, but we can feel his presence. We can feel something we have never felt in our, in our whole entire life life. Hallelujah. I said sir it is the presence of God. It is the God that created the sun. It is the God that created the moon. It is it is the God that created the stars and his name is Jesus. Come on would you shout as loud as you can shout to the Lord right now. Would you lift up your hands. Would you lift up your voice and magnify the name Come on, come on, I feel Jesus walking in. Come on, the, somebody wants to touch him right now. Somebody want to touch the hem of his garment. Come on, mama, daddies. Come on, grandma, grandpa. Come on, young people. If you need a miracle from God, the promise is in the house. The promise is in this place today. The promise is here at Lighthouse Pentecostal Church in Jackson, Tennessee. Somebody clap your hands. Somebody make a joyful noise. Somebody shout as loud as you can shout, Jesus. Come on, come on, praise him. The promise is here. The promise is here. The promise is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And before, before you may be seated. Before the day was over, there was over 200 Indians that day repenting of their sins and God filled them with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And Saturday, a week ago yesterday, I had the opportunity to ordain two Indians as one God apostolic tongue talking Holy Ghost preachers. Feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody need a shout right now. Somebody need a dance for your miracle. Somebody need to praise God for your miracle right now that God is taking care of your problem right now. You may sitting right now. God is working at your home while you're praising him right now. Come on, come on. I feel like God wants to work miracles. I feel like Jesus wants to send angels to some of your home right now. But before he does that, we've got to worship him. We've got to praise him. We've got to praise him in advance. Can somebody begin to praise him in advance? Can you begin to praise him for the promise? The promise is for you, for your children, for your family, for your backslidden husband, your backslidden wife, your backslidden children. It's for your family. Praise him until the promise fulfilled. I need six more brothers to run the aisles with that brother. I teach my church there's power and unity. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Somebody else needs a miracle. Somebody else needs a healing. Why don't you get in the aisle? Said, excuse me, neighbor. Excuse me. I'm going to praise God for my miracle. I'm going to praise God for my healing. I'm going to praise God for God to save my family. The promise is here today.
If the devil's lying to you, get out of your pew. Tell the neighbors, choose me. I'm going to possess my promise. I'm going to get a hold of my promise. I'm, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I'm going to get a hold of my miracle. I'm going to get a hold of my victory. I'm going to get a hold. My family's not going to hell. My children are not going to hell. My family are not going to be destroyed. I'm going to praise. I'm going to stay on the gap. I'm Whatever it takes, if it takes to me to run the aisles, if it takes to me to roll on the floor, if it takes to me to shout, if it takes for me to cry, I know the promise is going to be fulfilled. Oh, the promise is here. That's what we need. We need some, some sister like this lady right here. We need some young people just like these young people. Some brothers that's not willing uh, to be embarrassed. Uh, that is not willing uh, to sit around. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, devil, you're not taking my home. Uh, you're not taking my church. Uh, you're not taking my family. I'm, God, uh, come on, somebody. I'm going to stay on the gap. Uh, I'm going to praise God uh, because the promise is for me oh, why don't you take somebody by the head and shout with them why don't you take your neighbor by the head and dance with them come on get a hold of somebody get a hold of your neighbor say neighbor is here Jesus is here just reach out and touch him Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. We need an out. We need an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. We need an explosion of the Holy Ghost. We need a, a service upside down. We can't leave this place with a normal service. We need the promise. apostolic church this is a one God Pentecostal church I'm sorry if you don't like this kind of worship you won't like heaven because heaven is a worshiping place heaven is going to be a shouting place heaven is going to be a dancing place heaven is going to be a worshiping place we're just getting ready for heaven we're just practicing we're just warming up ah, come on we're just warming up we're just practicing for that meeting in the sky That's it. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Beat those tambourines. Beat those tambourines. Clap your hands if you can. If you can, just lift up your voice. If you can, make a joyful noise. While well, Jesus, the promise, is walking in this house tonight. Hey. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I feel like God wants to heal some sugar diabetes in the house. You've got sugar diabetes. You've got cancer. Run to the altar. Run up here. God's going to heal you. You've got heart trouble, kidney trouble, tumors, knots in your body. Come to the altar. God is going to heal you. The great physician is going to heal you right now. I need some people, preachers to help me. Yeah, 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 that's it. You need the Holy Ghost. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, Holy Ghost is here. Holy Ghost is here. Holy Ghost is here. You want to get drunk in the spirit. You never got drunk in the spirit. Come to the altar. Ah, yeah. 
Yeah, we can carry you out speaking in tongues today. The promise is here. The promise. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Somebody else needs a miracle. Somebody else needs a miracle. Yeah, yeah. Then receive your miracle. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Come on. Receive it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Everybody find somebody that you can pray with. Pray with your neighbor. Lay hands on somebody and pray. Be a prayer warrior. Be a prayer warrior. Pray with somebody. Pray as the promise is walking by. The promise is unto you. For you, for your children. It's for everyone in this building. Come on, come on. It's here. It's here. Somebody else needs a miracle. Just make your way up here. Oh, it's too crowded, Brother LVR. You don't understand. Well, if you get desperate like the little woman that had the issue of blood, it was crowded also. But she pushed her way through the crowd. If I can only touch the hem of his garment, I know that I can be made whole. Come on. Just push, make your way through. Just make your way through. Said, excuse me. The promise is up there. The promise is at the altar. This started in the prayer room today and it started when we joined one with another. I'm asking you if you can, just join with somebody wherever you're at. If you're in the back, step across the aisle, put your hand on somebody's shoulder and let's pray for each other. Let's connect, let's pray for each other. I know it might be difficult for you to step out, reach in front of you and pray for somebody. God's not only moving up front, but God's moving in the back. God's touching in the back. You don't have to be up here to get it. Let God do something for you before you leave today. This is a move of the Holy Ghost. Receive it where you're at. Let God touch you right where you're at. Can we connect together? Just keep doing what you're doing in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, let miracles be in the house in Jesus' name. Receive the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Deliver people in Jesus' name. Yes, 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 yes. Go ahead, let the tears go. Open up your heart and let God touch you. Let the tears go. Come on. Jesus, 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 Jesus. 